it looks like Cross River State is setting the stage in the diversification drive, searching for other means to grow its economy. Cocoa farming is the new crude oil. A state governor arrives on the site of the cocoa processing factory in Ikom local government area. He is accompanied by the executive director of the Nigeria Export and Import Bank, the National President Cocoa Association of Nigeria, as well as other government functionaries. For the governor, youth in the state must key into the cocoa dream. But the commitment the government and people of Cross River State will be making to Nigeria and indeed Africa is that Cross River State will ultimately ram up production to 350,000 metric tons per annum and of course with the immediacy create 100,000 hectares of cocoa estate available to young men and women to start cultivation. The state government has received the support of the federal government which is optimistic that funding will not be a problem. It's a laudable project and is in line with the president's economic recovery and growth plan. And um, I believe it's, it's coming at the right time, whereby we're looking outside the oil and um, looking at exports, which will definitely generate for for not just Nigeria, but the good people of Cross River State. The national president of the Cocoa Association of Nigeria believes that driving cocoa production will help to create employment opportunities and boost the economy. Cocoa is still the highest foreign exchange earner after oil. So it's, you think of the multiplier effect. That's to also tell you that why this is very important to us is we are going to be asking the federal government, as agreed in just the last cocoa summit, for cocoa to be our, for cocoa to be our stable daily official drink in Nigeria. In line with the present administration's move to diversify the economy, cocoa remains the highest foreign exchange earner for Nigeria after crude. And if the example of the Cross River State government is replicated across the country, cocoa may take the place of the black gold.